Hi, I'm Scott Mansell from Driver61.com and in this video we're going to take a look at a comparison of the speed data trace from the telemetry of Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes from 2016 and 2017, both at the Melbourne circuit. Now, I did a comparison video uh, about a week ago or just after the qualifying of the Melbourne uh, GP but actually got took down by FOM because I was using a little bit of their footage. So what we've actually got here as you can see on the screen is a data trace that I've taken from the onboard footage and what we've done here is we've taken the speed from the onboard footage from two qualifying laps, the qualifying lap pole position qualifying lap from 2016 from Hamilton and the qualifying lap from this year and overlaid the speed trace uh, on top of one another and that this is something similar a very simple version of what drivers actually use when we're at the circuit and we're comparing our lap times perhaps against their teammate or against themselves when we're trying to find the last few tenths of a second now what's interesting here is that we we can see where the 2017 car is actually quicker than the 2016. So if you take a look at the complete trace here, it isn't the complete lap. We, we miss off a few corners here at the end just because we don't have the information from the 2017 lap. But overall, you get a good idea of, of where the 2017 car is quicker and where the 2016 car might be slightly quicker as well. So if we zoom in here, the red line is the 2017 lap and the blue line is the speed trace from 2016. You can see that actually coming along the start finish straight towards turn one, the 2016 car in this area is going a little bit quicker. That's because it's got less drag, less frontal area, so it can go down the straight that little bit quicker. However, as we come into the braking zone, of turn one you can see that the 2017 car with the red line is able to go quite a lot deeper on the brakes and then the deceleration is a little bit quicker and what's really apparent here is that the 2017 car carries much much more speed into the apex actually it's 20 kilometers an hour more at the apex so the uh, the regs to increase the downforce and the mechanical grip are really working hard there to, uh, to improve the minimum apex speed by 20k, that's, that's a lot. Then you'll see as you come through turn two, which is almost flat out in these cars, and down the short straight down to turn three in, in this area here, you can actually see that the 2016 car begins to catch up in terms of speed and actually overtakes the red line of 2017. So the, the maximum speed down the straight, down towards turn three. It's actually quicker again in the 2016 car. But once again, as we get on the brakes, the red line, the, the, two seven, the 2017 car, can be much later on the brakes and again carry much more speed into the apex of the, the slow turn three. Um, in this case, the 2016 speed, minimum apex speed, is 88 kilometers an hour and 2017 is 99. So we're 11K up in 2017. Then we head into uh, turn four and through turn five. This is actually uh, turn four here and turn five just up here. And then we have a short straight up to turn six. So in turn four, you can see that the, the drivers, or Lewis in this case, in 2017, is able to carry a lot more speed through turn four and propel himself down the next straight and through turn five much quicker than the previous year. Again here it's in the region of 10 kilometers an hour, it's nine kilometers an hour in this case. Then we continue down the following straight towards turn six and again you see that the blue line, the 2016 Mercedes, actually catches up on on the speed and overtakes the 2017 car once again because it's so draggy and has so much more frontal area than the previous generation of car. Again, into turn six, we can see that the 17 car um, is much later on the brakes again and carries a lot more minimum corner speed here. Again, it's in the region of 10 kilometers an hour. And then as we come out down towards um, down towards turn nine, we have a, a slight kink of eight, which is flat in these cars. 
Um, you can see that the speeds are fairly well matched. Now, the, the, the 17 Mercedes, 2017 Mercedes, comes out of turn six that bit quicker, so it has a bit of a head start on the 2016 car, but because it's less draggy, it does begin to overtake the 17 car in this area down to turn nine. Now, in turn nine, there's not too much difference between the uh, the two years of car here. Maybe Lewis made a slight mistake. Maybe he slowed down too much uh, this year. Probably not, but um, we're not seeing as much of a difference here in speed as we have in the previous corners. Now, heading down the, the next straight, or curve as it is here at Melbourne, it's a, it's a long, long left-hander as you're coming down to turns 11 and 12. Really the only properly high-speed corner on the Melbourne circuit. Um, we've got the quick left of 11 followed by the quick right of 12. You can see that in turn 11, the dr Lewis is able to attack the left-hander much more than the previous year. And here, we're actually up by 21 kilometres now, which is a massive amount, almost 10%. So you can see here in this area that he's able to go longer on the throttle and then carry more speed into the left-hander and continue through the right. As they come out of turn 12 and head down to 13, um, they're pretty well matched, to be honest, as they're coming out. Uh, yes, the 2017 car does have more drag, but it is coming out of the previous corner that bit quicker. So it's quite interesting to see that the car carries that momentum. And it does take a while for the 2016 car to, to catch up and overtake in terms of speed. Then down to the tight right of 13. Once again, you can see that the 2017 Mercedes with Lewis driving is later again on the brakes. And once again, it's another 10 kilometers an hour there at the apex. The red line of 2017 then manages to continue to carry that speed out the corner uh, before we run out of data. Um, and we, uh, we, we don't have the information for the last part of the lap, but we can probably expect that the 2017 car will have a little bit more um, minimum corner speed right at the apex and be a little bit later on the brakes. So overall, I think it's really interesting to see here with this, with this full data trace that we've got that yes, the cars are quicker, they're later on the brakes, but on this fairly twisty Melbourne circuit, it's difficult to see the, the big advantages and that I think we're going to see at some of the, the, the quicker tracks um, where the cars are going to be pulling massive G in the quick corners. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video today. If you did, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.